So in this video, we will see how we can deploy a React.js application to Netlify in less than two minutes. So recently we built this recipe application with React.js uh, food recipe plaza if you want uh, if you are interested to build this the link will be in the uh, description so we will try to upload this react.js application to netlify and get a live url so let's see how we can do that there are two steps or and also there are two ways to do this so the first way is you can build the application locally and then upload it so what i can do is i can just create a new terminal and then i can say npm run build when you will build your project, it will generate a build folder over here. What we can do is we can take that build folder, this one, I can click on reveal in folder. If you're using Windows, the things will be exactly the same. It will be reveal in Explorer. At the end of the day, it's just showing you the folder. So once it is built, what we can do is we have the files, we have the static files. We can just log in or sign up on Netlify. So I already have a con an account. So I'm just going to log in. If you don't have one, you can sign up. You can even sign up with GitHub. It will be the best option actually. So once you will do that, all you need to do is go to the sites option, uh, the second one, and then drag and drop this particular folder over here. Okay. Where it is written, want to develop a new site without Git. So you just need to drag and drop it here. Okay. Did I did that? Okay. Sorry for that. Let me just make sure i did that correctly okay so as you can see it's uploading now and the site has not been deployed it's building deploying your site and it's deployed it didn't uh, it did not took like more than i don't know <laughs> two seconds or three seconds and it is live so this is the url and you can check it out now the second option which we have is using github so if you are not aware about github and like what are you doing <laughs> so if you are a programmer i will highly recommend to have a github profile so you can just uh, go to github.com and get an account we will be creating a new repository i think i already have one for this okay i think i don't so i'm just going to create a new repository i'm going to say this to be recipe app netlify i'm just uh, netlify I'm going to give it that name it's not at all useful because that code is not useful so i'm just going to make it private now we will get all of these commands which we need to run on terminal so that we can you know initialize our github project with git and github so i'm just going to copy these commands go to my terminal and just paste them all at once okay and then i'll hit enter or return based uh, based on your like windows or mac so it, it is done okay now it does not show me instantly so what i need to do is i need to close that and i need to open that project again so i'm just going to open that project on vs code again so now when I will do that, um, you can see if I will go on this GitHub option, you can see it is available. I can now say initialize project. It's just a message or commit message. So you don't have to worry about that. You can write whatever you want. Basically, what I did now is I have pushed the code to GitHub. And once that lining is done, that blue lining which was coming over here, I can just click on reload and it the code will be pushed to GitHub. So now you can see. Now I will copy this particular use uh, the slug you can call it just copy that go over here to netlify click on the icon the logo and then i'll click on new site from git now i'll choose github if you use GitLab or bitbucket you can use that as well i'm going to use github this second process which we are doing right now it's called continuous deployment so basically what will happen is whenever you have a new change and you push that to github it will be automatically built and deployed for you instantly. So I can select this project and then I can just scroll down and click on deploy site. All of these will be pre -built, uh, filled for you. You don't have to do anything. There is nothing special I did in this project which is responsible for that. It's just um, Netlify understands what there needs to be for a React.js application. Now, it is going to take a few seconds to upload this. And in the meantime, let me show you what exactly I mean by the changes. So for example, right now in this application, we say this to be food recipe plaza, right? I'm going to upload, uh, update that to something of uh, food recipe uh, Netlify, Netlify plaza. <laughs> Let's say I do that. I'm going to just make a commit. I'm going to say changed typo or what, whatever you want to say. I'm going to then push it, but I'm just going to wait before this gets deployed. Otherwise, a new build will um, you know, start and I don't want to create that before this is done. So I think it's going to take, uh, oh, sorry, what did I did? 
uh, it's in deploy in progress it's building you can click on that and have a look what's what is up so i use yarn and that's why it's taking a bit of a more time if you are not using yarn it will be a bit faster because you know initially it has to install yarn and then only it can continue so let me wait for a few seconds and i'll be right back once it's done now this one is actually the most popular error which you can encounter whenever you are uh, you know uh, pushing your code and deploying your react js application to netlify and that is that you know um, just because i have an image without an alt uh, it was that particular warning was treated as an error hence uh, the deployed got cancelled so for this to fix this all you need to do is you need to go at the top click on deploy settings i'm going to open it in new tab over here okay and in the deploy second uh, settings you need to click on edit settings okay and you need to type this okay simply i'm using yarn so i'm going to sim uh sorry did i change anything here no okay so i'm going to change this from yarn build to ca is equals to yarn build if i will save that and go back over here and click on retry deploy and i'll say clear cache and deploy site now it's getting starting up so let's wait for it and i'll be right back once it's done okay so now the site is live so let's just click on the url so it's not visible here i'm going to go back on deploys and uh, i'll click on i think site overview and i'll click on this url okay so this was the url which i got before where is it i don't know but this is the url okay and uh, we did get one url before but yeah this is jolly and i think that was a more of a sleepy one so as you can see this is food recipe plaza now to push that the change which i did i'm just going to say push to and that particular repository now if i will go back to netlify what we will be able to see is we have a new build running okay and it will build the site and the changes will be live so that's how you can upload and deploy your react js application on netlify we showed you the both steps uh, and how to do that now if you want to learn more about react js and uh, you know uh, net net uh, next js and more please make sure to check my channel there are a lot of content which i'm trying to add so if you like that and if you want to uh, learn more you can uh, you know subscribe uh, make sure to like the video it it really helps